I almost said no to the project. Super excited to share this website project with you. Let's go back to August 20th, 2021. It was the end of a work week, a Friday afternoon. I get an email from a company, uh, they're a startup company, and the lead engineer uh, emailed me and said, hey, we're looking for a Webflow developer to finish up some of the work on our website that we're looking to launch next Wednesday. So it's about a five-day project. I almost said no to the project. And I just look back on that and say, if I would have said no to them then, I wouldn't have been able to work with them on their website for the last year now. Um, so if we fast forward a year to uh, August, about the same time, August 20th, 2022, they had already gone through their series A back in 2021. Now they're going through their series B and they're looking to refresh the website and just clarify some things and upgrade and refresh it a bit. So in the end, after all the conversations, we decided that I was gonna be doing the design, the development, and all the graphics and the wireframing and all that and we had a 30-day timeline to get it done and we had to get it done in 30 days so let's look at uh, what we did for the project so here were some of the early inspirations that i whipped up um, i'm not going to talk about these too much because um, there's really not a whole lot to talk about and I didn't even use them a whole lot. They just kind of got the juices flowing. This was an early wireframe for the homepage. We started with this and then we moved on to the rest. Um, I think everyone is pretty happy with how this wireframe turned out and it gave us a really good head start on the rest of the project. The previous website used a lot of dark navy blue. And as you can see on some of these iterations, I introduced some uh, bright gradients, some bright graphics. You'll see here some 3D graphics in just a second. This grid, there were some confetti textures that I added. So it was, it was pretty new and it was different from their old design, um, but I thought there were some things that we could freshen up just a bit. So here are the, some of those 3D, uh, 3D graphics that I was talking about. And then here are just some more iterations of the home page some more 3d graphics some confetti textures and some grids and at this point in the project we wanted to make sure that the product itself matched the marketing website. So if the marketing website looks really different than the product itself, or it looks too much off from the brand, then there might be some lost trust with customers. So after these iterations, we decided to dial it back um, on the gradients and the grids and the textures and the 3D graphics, and more so go with a clean and minimal aesthetic to match the product itself, and also just to clean things up a little bit. So this, these were the last iterations that I had that were more of these colorful backgrounds and then we'll switch into the cleaner aesthetics in just a second here. So here was kind of in between a wireframe and a design but this was more of that uh, the cleaner look a lot more lighter colors even these darker navy blues we got rid of a lot of them and we added in a light blue color as a background in a lot of places and I think it looks really good. Here were the the pricing page a couple iterations of the pricing page some iterations of the home page hero section we had a lot of those iterations. This was all based basically in week one. Um, we were doing a lot of work on the homepage only, and then week two is when we uh, stepped ahead into the rest of the design for the rest of the pages. So typically on projects, I like to spend a lot of time on the homepage and then send those off only when they're really crisp and clean and done. In this case, we were on a timeline and we had to get the project moving. So I had to send those over a little bit earlier than I would have liked to, but the Noetic team was super helpful in giving me a uh, helpful feedback uh, in a timely manner. And also just, they, they gave great feedback and the direction that they wanted and inspiration and that sort of thing. So um, just five stars for the Noetic team for helping the project move along and I think we did a really good job with uh, the time that we had. So here's week two, some of the work that we did. Here were some of the, the product pages. They have two products, the People Analytics and the CPO HQ product. We were deciding whether we wanted to show the faces of hypothetical CPOs or if we wanted to show the products themselves. And we did a little bit of both. Um, and I think the product page, or uh, sorry, the, the, the People Analytics page, we showed a product image, which I thought was a great idea uh, from one of the members at Noetic. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice. And then the CPO HQ page, we showed a picture of a hypothetical CPO and that ended up really nice looking as well. So that was week two. We've at least started or are midway through the design of most of the pages. Now we had planned for a week and a half of design, week and a half of development, and then a week of bug fixes and any other third party integrations that need to be implemented. So right now we're just a little bit behind schedule and we really need to get this project moving. We have not even touched Webflow and we are already in week three. So let's look at and see what, uh, what we did for week three. 
So some more iterations with the home page, the hero section went through a lot of uh, iterations. We were trying to figure out what was most important, what needed to be showed up top. Was it the benefits of the product? Was it pictures of the product? Was it pictures of people? Um, and we just went through a ton of iterations. This pricing page is pretty close to how it actually ended up. Um, we had some user persona pages. Um, these ones were kind of in between that wireframe slash design, um, the R story page. We had this, this brain idea of the left brain being more of the analytics and the right brain being more of the people and the community. And did we want to show that on the home page or should we show that just on the R story page? Those were some of the conversations we had. The careers page had a lot of information and I think we did a good job of um, showcasing that well in a hopefully helping attract talent, case studies page. We have the case studies write up page, playbooks, not gonna go through all of these, um, but there's a lot of design work that needed to be done. And again, we haven't even started development at this point. Now it is week four, this is cram week. We got finals coming up and we're staying up late. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, we had the Webflow development work that needed to be done. The homepage hero section still needed to be designed. We had a uh, migration of old pages like playbooks and blogs and case studies that needed to be migrated over and then a bunch of other pages um, that were just kind of no index pages that are on the site but that need to be brought over as well. And then we also have bug fixes. So this week was a, uh, it was a fun week but it was, it was uh, a lot of late nights. So this homepage hero section, um, we went through a lot of iterations and I'll show some of those iterations in just a second here. But this this is that lighter blue color that I was talking about that we added. Um, I'll just kinda, I'm not gonna show you all these designs, but um, some graphical work still needed to be done at this point. But we had most of this project done and ready to go. And obviously week four is when we started the Webflow development. Um, and we were kind of designing and developing async at the same time. So um, yeah, a lot of work to do so let's go over to the iterations of the homepage hero section so this is obviously the most important part of the website the homepage hero section we wanted to get it done and we wanted to get it done right so uh, here are just some iterations that we went with uh, we had pictures of cpos which are chief people officers they're leaders of people at companies and we had a mix between showing their faces and showing the product this was going to be a swipe a hover so one of them was going to be the people analytics product and then the other was going to be a cpo hq product um, this one was closer to what we ended up going with, a picture of the CPO um, themselves. And then we were gonna have these card graphics kind of showcase what the benefits were of the CPO if they sign up for one of these products. Um, again, we're just, we had more of like this square design. Um, and then we had the picture of the person in the middle. This one I didn't like as much, just the noetic icon in the middle. I thought I was missing that personal touch. Again, uh, just some iterations here that we went through. Um, gotta try everything, even if you don't think it's gonna look good, just try it out and see. We had this brain that we put in here just to see, okay, left brain, right brain, does that work? And then here we got pretty close to what we ended up going with for the final design, a picture of the CPO. And then we, we show case what they get out of the product, the org chart, some trends and analytics, polls, and then a community that they can ask questions in and interact with other CPOs. And you guys, there's a lot of things that I could talk about that I'm not going through. I'm just trying to keep this quick and concise and just kind of show you the overview of the project. So let's talk about a few of the takeaways. Some of the challenges were obviously the timeline. The timeline was 30 days and we needed to get it done in 30 days. So keeping the project moving quickly and smoothly was very important to us while also maintaining a high quality of standard. The Noetic team was absolutely impeccable with empowering me with everything that I needed to get the project done. We had lots of meetings, we had lots of Slack conversations. The amount of stakeholders involved was also another challenge. I thought the Noetic team did a really good job given that they had a lot of stakeholders, the CEO, the marketing managers, marketing growth people. There are a lot of people involved in the project and all these stakeholders bring a lot of ideas and narrowing down those ideas can oftentimes be difficult and the Noetic team did a really Really good job in narrowing those ideas down and focusing on what the goal is of Noetic. Some successes, we launched on time. When I say that I'm gonna finish a project on time, I really take pride in getting it done on time. And we launched exactly, we, we actually launched a day or two ahead of time. And then we had some time to, to finish some bug fixes. Even though we got a little bit behind in the middle of a project, we found our way back and we got it launched on time. They were happy with the, pro the final product and I was also happy with it. So 
I, I'm just super, super grateful of the team at Noetic to be able to get this done. Not every company would be able to get this done, but um, they, they, they've got the tools, they've got the people to be able to handle it, and um, they're just great to work with. It was a hardworking project. I was tired after it, but I'm super grateful I took on the project. Um, if you like this type of video, let me know. We'll see ya.